All right, so what makes the most money at a concession stand? This food product brings in 94% margin, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how you can get this started, the amount of money you need to invest in it, which is next to nothing, and you can literally get this type of business up and running in less than a week and start making money. It is November. I'm gonna show you exactly how and why this month in December and January and February can make you a lot of money if you only start it and start today. I'm gonna break down how to get started All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So this is part two in a full series. I'm gonna have close to about 10 videos back to back showing you about how to start low investment food businesses, most of which these can actually get started from home and fall under cottage food law, which actually eliminates a lot of permits, inspections, licensing, and many other things. So every state, of course, is slightly different on what they allow from home, but most of these businesses are non-potentially hazardous food items, which are allowed to be made at home or as a small business from your home. Now let's dive right into it. So you're probably wondering what food product on the planet, Damien, can actually give you 94% uh, profit that seems pretty insane well this one is one that you've probably eaten with your kids and you've probably had when you were a kid and it's cotton candy it's how to start a cotton candy business with extremely low investment less than five hundred dollars as a matter of fact and i'll show you and give you proof and by the way everything that i'm going to mention that's on this board down below this video in the description section there's going to be links to help you understand and you can find out for the for yourself about each of these pieces of equipment and all of the supplies you need to get started now Let's jump into this. So what makes the most money at a concession stand? So you can either create this type of business as a concession stand business or an independent, basically tent or table at farmer's markets, festivals. Uh, now that the fall is here, uh, being November and such, November, December, and through the winter season and such, there's gonna be a lot of holiday events in everyone's community, including yours. And if you are looking to create some side income and maybe you wanna pick up more hours at work, well, before you do that, you might wanna contemplate some of these business ideas that we're gonna be basically filming and giving you over the next couple of weeks because they're very simple to start. And to make these things, you don't need a degree, you don't have to go to culinary school, it's not rocket science, it's super simple stuff. But a lot of people don't realize that these particular products have such a high percentage of profit. So what are you gonna to need to get started, Damien? Number one, cotton candy floss machine, as it's called. It's not necessarily floss that you need at a dentist, but it's floss candy machine, as it's called. So that is the machine, the unit itself, that actually spins around and around, that creates the cotton candy itself, and that's where you accumulate it onto the cone and then serve it to your customers. Again, these are not very difficult to operate. I've seen these at every single farmer's market, fair, festival event that I've ever been to, and they are selling this product like crazy. But I didn't realize that the margins were so high. So the cotton candy floss machine runs you about 200 bucks. Yes, you can actually get a beginner kind of entry level machine or unit for around $200. If you wanted to get a higher one, there are some, trust me, that can go up to six or 700, but this video is all about starting that business with about 500 bucks. And this unit in particular, again, I'll have the link down below. Check it out for yourself. You can get them online at a lot of different places, but the one that we found was actually on sale for $199.99. So it's 200 bucks for an entry level machine. Number two, cotton candy floss sugar itself. Now you're gonna obviously need the flavored sugars that come along with it that you can create your cotton candy with. This particular two pack was two different flavors. And again, this is all entry level beginner stuff. That means literally you can go online after you watch this video, order these items, have them delivered within a few days. And by this weekend or even next weekend, start this business. So candy floss sugar, the two pack runs about 40 bucks. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that's pretty expensive for sugar. Well, it's actually a specific type of sugar that also is flavored, but this amount of sugar that you're gonna get with this two pack produces a ridiculous amount of cotton candy. So number three, cotton candy cones. So you've got a hundred count. Again, you're gonna probably need more than that to start with, but the hundred pack is roughly about 12 bucks. Okay, now you can see where we're at. We're literally almost done with the list and it's not even close to $500. Number four. This is optional. Now you can get a sign or a banner, signage or banner, which would be something that you can put out either on your table or on the top of your tent or something to get attention. But in most cases, once you actually open up a tent or you start a table and you put all your products out there, people are going to see you. But if you're wanting to get people's attention, I would recommend trying to get some type of signage or banner, kind of a name maybe potentially of your LLC if you wanna start that or if you wanna start a business that has a specific name or brand, you can definitely put that on your sign and that runs really about 50 bucks. 
you can actually get them a lot less than that, but around $50. And of course, if you want to spend more for much larger sign pricing and banners, by the way, are based upon uh, the different varieties of color and the size of the actual banner itself. That's what is actually what dictates the cost and the retail price point. But 50 bucks should do it. So now you're probably thinking, okay, Damien, well, that sounds great. That only comes to 322, maybe 350 bucks, okay? But I know that if I go to a local event, they're gonna charge me a fee. So how does that work? Okay, so if you go to a local event, if it's a farmer's market, a festival, or a local community event, there's normally some type of entry fee. There's only two really ways that they actually use this or create these types of fees. Number one, they're gonna give you a flat fee. They can say, hey, Damien, you can start and sell your cotton candy. It's gonna be 120 bucks. Um, I've seen them between 100 to about $200. So between 100 to 200 dollars, you might have that kind of fee assessed on your business. Now, if you don't, they do a percentage. Damien, that sounds great. It's actually free. You, we don't charge a fee. We only charge a percentage of your sales. So if you sell $500 and it's 10%, then it's going to be 10% of your overall sales, or it could be 5%. Normally, these fees are between 5 and 10. I've actually never heard of them being much higher than that. They might be, uh, but I've never come across any information that's much more higher than if they do a flat percentage of the sales above and beyond 10%. So between 5 and 10%, you might have to actually give up that in sales based upon what you do. So let's go over to what is it going to cost per unit? So now that you understand the investment upfront for the equipment and supplies that you would need, what is it specifically as far as the cost per unit? One of the most inexpensive things on the planet to produce is cotton candy. Now there's a lot of candies that can be produced in bulk that might be a little bit cheaper, but when it comes to individual um, serving products like you're going to make right in front of a customer and give it to them at a farmer's market or local event, cotton candy cannot be beat. It's pretty difficult. It's pretty cheap. Floss sugar. Now per unit, about 14 cents on average is what the amount of sugar you're going to give to a customer. The cone, which is about two cents, that's a paper cone, the dispo disposable paper cone that it comes with. Overall, it's gonna cost you for this product 17 cents for the ingredients itself. Now, do keep in mind that if you want to expand this concept, here's a real quick side note on how you can make even more money. That if you want to start this business and if you have the ability to buy maybe two or even three units at a time, you can create a business where you're actually gonna have three different people in three different locations on the same day or maybe at the same different events in the same community for three or four days straight. That is a way to increase your revenue dramatically. So if maybe it's you or your brother, like I did in my other video, I talked about this. If you have a cousin or if you have a family member and the two of you wanna create two separate locations, that's even better. Because what I'm about to show you as far as your profit will only double over the span of a three day period from like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Normally these types of events, obviously holiday events are on the weekends. So if you do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you happen to do three different or two different locations, you're only gonna make even more money. So you've got 17 cents invested in this one particular unit. Now, how did you come to 94% profit, Amy? The average retail, now this is on the low end, average retail of an individual serving of cotton candy is around $2.50. I've actually seen in our area, I've actually seen around four to $5. So it's almost double this. But if you sold it for 250, cost you around 17 cents, you're gonna walk away with $2.34 per unit. Well, Damien, that's, that sounds pretty decent, but that I'd have to sell a lot of units. Well, not necessarily, stay with me. So $2.34 profit. So in a day, if you sold 500 units, and you're probably thinking, well, hold on Damien, 500 units, that's a lot to sell at an event. Again, it's not, here's why. Because if you have a family of four, predominantly it's parents and adults, kids are normally the ones that actually eat uh, 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 cotton candy. So you've got two units right there. And sometimes one of the parents, one of the mom or the father or someone who else is with them will grab one. So that's three units right off the bat. 500 units adds up very quickly. If you were to sell four units per family and four, a little bit over a hundred families. Most events have way more than you're talking several thousand or a few thousand, even a few hundred families. So reaching 500 units at $2.34 would give you $1,170 in profit. Okay. Now, of course, again, keeping in mind what we have over here with the fee, you may have to take out a little bit of that, or there might be an entry fee, but that's not much. Okay. That's in day one. Okay. So if you did a three day event times three days, I come up with $3,510 at one location. You take that and multiply that times two because you and your brother or you and your cousin or someone else is going to be helping your friend and it's going to do two locations and you guys are rocking and rolling in two different places. You're now looking at about 
about seven grand, $7,000 in three days. Now, is this on the high end or is this really realistic, Damien? Of course it is. If you get out there and you hustle this and you create this business and you put your effort and energy into it, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this, okay? Or the potential for at least doing 1,100 a day. So if you do it over a three day event, you're looking at about at least three grand or more if you go up on your price point. Again, $2.50 is on the low end. I've seen Cotton Candy, we've actually been to Atlanta's uh, uh, um, events here locally that it was about five bucks, four or five bucks for just cotton candy. And if that's the case, then you're gonna double all that. So if you've got less than 500 bucks or around five or 600 bucks to actually spend on a business, this is a legitimate business that you can actually create. And with this coming fall season and through the holiday season, now don't get me wrong, you can do this in summertime and spring, but right now, this very moment you're watching this video, it is November, okay? So it just started. You've got a lot of holiday events coming up you can definitely get out there and start hustling this simple, simple food business and do it for less than around five, 600 bucks. So if you have any questions on what makes the most money at a concession stand, then this hopefully answers it at 94%. I don't see any reason why any of you watching this can't start this where you live. And again, this is something that doesn't require a culinary degree or doesn't require a bachelor's degree or something to that effect. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. Now, one other side note to make even more money. You're gonna stick with me throughout every single one of these videos that I'm posting up for the next couple of weeks. I want you guys to come back and watch every single one. Why? Because you have the ability to create more than one of these businesses. The other business that I just did, uh, I talked about a highly profitable business. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description if you hadn't seen that one yet. But that business as well, you can create a business along with this one and have two of these going. You can be at the same event with two different stalls your cousin on one side and you on the other, and you can be selling different food products, right? Because you can do that. If you have the ability to purchase the different equipment, get two different stalls selling two different items, two different concession food businesses at the same time. That would only double what you're making, okay? So I will see you guys on our next video. If you have any questions about this particular video or comments, let me know. If you actually have done this and you're selling cotton candy, tell us how it works down in the comments for other people who are watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in our next video.